defensively, I was just saying that we were just talking to Coach Galan about this. If you look at the way that the chances you guys gave up the first time you played Toronto versus a, a lot fewer chances for them this time, what does that tell you about maybe the improvements you guys have made in the D zone? Yeah, I think obviously we've come a long way from the first few games. Obviously, it's a little adjustment, learning a new system and a few new players and and all that. But I think we've done a good job of you know limiting a lot of more great A's than than we were giving up early in the year. And uh, you know if they do get some ozone time, obviously a team like Toronto has a lot of great players. They're gonna be in the offensive zone a little, just keep them to perimeter more than you know great A's from the slot like last time. What what is because coaches talk about the slot a lot. Like, what are the keys to preventing those slot chances? Uh, I think positioning's a lot of it. I think, uh, you know, being aware of where guys are and where we have to be. Uh, you know, I think maybe early in the year we were chasing a little bit when, you know, a guy maybe was in too dangerous of an area, whether it be the corner, behind the net, something like that. So uh, I think just positioning and, you know, awareness are the two things that uh, really help with that. I can't remember if we asked you this, and if we did, I, I apologize, but maybe it, it's changed now that there's been more games, but do you feel like opponents are playing you a little bit more physically this year than they did last year? Uh, I mean, not necessarily, maybe. Uh, you know, I think teams play, you know, a certain way against certain teams, certain players. I think it's, it's different for everyone. Uh, you know, obviously, maybe now as opposed to two years ago uh, you know maybe guys know me a little more and and uh, the way I play but I think it doesn't change anything for me I think you still try and play the same way you still try and you know make plays play well defensively and uh, so yeah maybe but it doesn't change much for you know the way I play are there, are there any ways that you've noticed teams giving you more attention wanting to take you out of the game a little bit more uh, I mean maybe trying to take away a little more time and space, but, uh, you know, it, it's not something that, you know, I've necessarily picked up on. Obviously, you know, trying to play a defenseman is a little different than, uh, you know, maybe a forward and, and stopping them, but, uh, again, it doesn't change much for, you know, how I approach the games. When you play a game against Toronto the way you did the other night, what does that tell you about your team? Have you drawn a conclusion as to where you are through these this first quarter? Yeah, I think we were saying it earlier in the era. I mean, we were winning games, but we weren't, you know, loving the way we were winning those games. And, uh, you know, a team like Toronto, a lot of great players, a lot of success the past few years, and those are the teams, you know, you're going to have to beat. Uh, you know, and, you know, we won the first game there, and, you know, it wasn't pretty the way we did, and we lost this one. And, you know, it was definitely, a, you know, I want to call it a, a better loss, but, uh, you know, we could have had a better fate that game for sure. But uh, those are the teams you're going to have to beat, and, you know, they're, they're never going to be easy. But, you know, definitely learning how to win those tight games is, is huge for us. I noticed you stepping in front of a, a few shots recently, like blocking shots. Is that something that you've always been conscious of doing, or is that something that as the whole team sort of is buying into it more, doing that more, Igor has talked about guys mm -hmm. doing that in front of him a lot. Is that something that you feel like you've maybe been more aware of or trying to do more? I mean, I think it's just – you know, part of the game in a sense. I don't know if it's something you necessarily try and do more. Uh, you know, obviously I, I'd rather, you know, us be in the offensive zone and not having to be blocking shots. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I think you see it game in a game out. Lindy, Troops, Key, uh, Nemo all the time. And, uh, you know, I think it's just part of the team we have. I think guys are willing to do that, willing to, you know, like you said, help out Igor. He's been a rock for us all year. Anything you can do to you know, make his job a little, a little easier, but yeah, I think it's just part of the game. I don't think you're necessarily conscious going in and saying, I want to, you know, block a lot more shots this game. Yeah, I'm sure they don't feel good. Yeah. <laughs>